What a cute video. You know what I mean? Thanks, Luke, for showing us this. We're glad to see this YouTube short, you know what I mean? And I thought that it was this guy, you know, who made the video, right? Because it says showing my dog places around the house. That's what the caption is, right? You're going to have to click through a little bit of things to find the actual creator of not only this, you know, YouTube short slash TikTok, whatever, um, but to find any of them on his channel. So let's go through and scroll and look at every single stolen short on his channel. And yes, I say stolen because just because you give credit in the description deep down and you steal all the views isn't really cool to me. Over 100,000 subscribers from content like this is a little bit disingenuous. Let's break it down. Y'all, look at this content. So much stolen content. Jesus Christ bled and died. It would be disingenuous by me if I didn't say that he does credit the creator in the description. If you're watching a YouTube short and you didn't know, you can click on the little title at the bottom and it'll pop up and then it'll and then you can credit someone. But my real genuine question to you is how many people are doing this? Not many. I doubt it, right? How many times are you reading a YouTube description? Like the video on this one, or the 170 that I uploaded before this, right? In a row. You haven't probably been reading the descriptions. Because you don't really care. And you expect Aflac time to be Aflac time. You don't expect Aflac time to be a random dude with a pit bull. Or box, or whatever type of dog it was. Disingenuous. So here's how he does it. Next uh, short you'll see is a um, live by faith video, you know what I mean? Which I, I agree, live, you know, by your faith. Um, I'm a God-fearing man, you know that, you know, Christian and all that. Uh, but to use God for views is one thing that I'm already against. But if you're going to do it, at least hopefully spread the gospel and, you know, spread things positively. But to put a ton of hashtags, including um, agnostic and atheist, I'm pretty sure, which is very interesting. Um, you're you're using this content for nefarious reasons. And to show you guys something else, and I don't think it is included in that next clip. But every single hashtag you see in the next clip, right, for a God-like YouTube short, which makes sense, right? It's about God, it's about faith. Um, is the same one used in showing my dog around the house. Yes, he had a ton of viewers who were looking for hashtag Christianity, hashtag God, hashtag gospel, hashtag Bible, watching a video about a dog looking in a fridge and stuff. I sometimes feel like I even use hashtags wrong in my shorts. I'm not going to act like I'm perfect, right? Uh, for example, I'll put hashtag hilarious in a video that might just be hashtag funny, <laughs> but like I'm not going to completely disregard the content that I'm showing you and then put the wrong hashtags on it. It basically just shows that even in this low effort content, which it is barely content because he's stealing it, he's Literally stealing and reusing his own hashtags on everything. And the video that popped off wasn't even about Christianity. It was about a dog. So, it's just weird, bro. Believe what we don't see. That's what faith is. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Once you see, then you don't need faith anymore. I make no money off this video. I simply just, I simply just what? Also, notice the donations. Huh? Look at this. I make no money off this video. I simply just wanted to share it. Me too, right. buddy. To conclude, I'm a guy who makes all sorts of content. Lately, it's been sports, right? But um, I never intend or want to plagiarize or especially steal content, which is what this is. Um, asking for donations after saying I don't make any money is pretty shocking. I crunch the numbers. Uh, you would definitely be uh, valid to start making money on YouTube, right? Uh, by different reasons or ways. But let's say he didn't choose that. Asking for donations for you to keep reposting others' content is interesting. Now, I'm not going to act like he's the only one. And that's why, look, even if, don't send any hate. I'm small. It's not like there's going to be any hate sent, right? There's going to be five views on this video. But... 
I think that this is a problem not only in YouTube Shorts, but really in short-form content overall. You're going to see the same clip, repost it, read it, da -da -da, 30 million times, right? When it's sports, it's understandable. You know, if you make a little edit to it, a little tweak, and that's a sports play. It's not like that person's content, it's that person's play, you know what I mean? But that it might be that guy's livelihood. Who knows who the actual dog creator is? I don't know that guy. I never got to see it from his actual YouTube. I never got to see it on his actual Instagram, TikTok. I don't know who he is. That is sad that he made that content, which is pretty cool. It's cute. It's a dog looking around. It's oh, look, it's a dog. But guess what? I thought it was this guy. I don't know who this guy is. And... I'll be honest with you guys, there is justice because it was almost served. Two years ago, he said his channel was almost taken down, four stealing videos, and people were supporting him because he's a god guy. And again, like I've said before, that is not an excuse to steal content. Would the Lord want you to steal other people's uh, content? No. And also, it's not really fair use, bro, because fair use is changing the content and making it revolutionary or different from what it was. He didn't change that content. Other than, I mean, you know, putting a caption and making it seem like it was his. That was the only change. So, yes, I'm very mad at this. I didn't really want to make this video, but uh, I really had nothing else to make, and I've been sitting on this for a while. So, yeah, don't send any hate to him. Uh, things will deal with it themselves. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's wrong to steal, and I think it's wrong to use God in the way that he is. So, that's just my opinion. Comment down below what you guys think. Like the video. Subscribe. Affleck time. Ow!